Hi, I'm Scott Flowers from Cloud Ninjas, and today we're here to talk about Dell PowerEdge R610 server memory upgrades. Well, for starters, there are only 12 slots inside the R610, and the R610 only takes one type of memory, ECC registered. It technically takes unbuffered, but we would never recommend it. With ECC registered, you can load up to 384 gigabytes of RAM via 1232 gigs, maxing out at 1600 megahertz. Now the Dell spec sheet will tell you that you can only put in 192 gigabytes via 1216 gigs, however that is incorrect. They just have never tested out 32 gigs and I can tell you for a fact that they will work and they will work swimmingly. So let's go ahead and, and open her up and learn a little bit more about it, but before we open her up, let's get our ESD gear on. Now that we have our ESD gear on, we are safe to open the machine and not damage the inside. So first things first, make sure the latch is set to unlock. Simply pop it open and remove the top. Once you are inside, you will notice that the dims have a black white, black white, black white. The white dim slot is the first dim inside of each channel. So let's say you wanted to load this machine with three DIMMs and you only had one CPU. You would put them inside white, white, white. If you wanted to load up, say, six and you only have one CPU, you would just load the whole side up. Okay, But you couldn't put three here and three there because you would need the two CPUs to register all the RAM. Okay, So let's show you how to put them in. It's, it's really simple. Again, you're going to start with the white. We're going to actually put in some 16 gig upgrades today. You will notice on the DIMM itself, there is a notch or a key in the middle. This notch uh, will line up so that you don't put it the wrong way, but, but this is very important because it prevents you from putting in, say, the wrong module. If you were using an older DDR2 module, it physically would not fit because the notch is in a different place. If you try to upgrade this with a desktop module, it would not fit because it is in a different place. Luckily, the manufacturers are smart enough to have done this so people won't damage their machines by loading in the wrong product. So you simply want to just line it up safely, pop it in. It's very simple. So we're going to actually do three DIMMs today and just do them on CPU 1. And that's it, it's just that simple. So to upgrade the machine is, I mean, really very easy. Uh, the main thing is just knowing the right compatibility and making sure you're putting in the right type of memory. If you need any help, definitely feel free to reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com or if you need a quote on some parts, just email us and let us know. We are loaded with eight gig, 16 gig, and 32 gigs to, to provide some cheap upgrades for you guys. Well, thanks for your time and learning a little bit more about the R610 today. Have a good one.